Well, today is finally the day that we move house. Everything's packed up into boxes, all the big furniture's gone. We had a lot of help from our friends um, and family as well. We couldn't have done it without them, so thank you. That's it, one empty house. Just the mattress to go and that's it. Completely empty. Hurrah. Well, we moved out of our house yesterday. We'd lived there for 12 years and had some amazing times and memories there. But at the end of the day, it is just bricks and mortar. What was really sad was saying goodbye to our neighbours, Brian and Valerie, and especially John and Irene, who got really upset. Um, yeah, so we're now staying in a cottage in Lim in Cheshire for a week. It's, it's a gorgeous cottage, really, really nice. So really pleased. It's a real home away from home. And uh, I think we're the first guests, we are the first guests at this cottage since lockdown. Everything seems to be going to plan. We're getting regular updates from Kev at Bickerstaff Boats. Really, really chuffed with the progress. There's that word again, chuffed. Really pleased with the progress. Uh, Friday, we should get the keys to a house that we're going to stay in while the boat's being finished. So we recommended this walk, it's in Burford Wood, which is just off Burford Lane in Lim in Cheshire. It's absolutely gorgeous, not a single person about, all I can hear are birds. I think we might move to Lim. I also took my car back to Arnold Clark and just sold it. I got rid of my Jeep. I wasn't impressed with it at all. So I've sold my car. We're now a one car family. We'll see how we get on. If I do my art full time from the boat, maybe I won't need a car. We'll see. This is our little holiday cottage that we've hired just for seven nights.
So a couple of weeks ago, Anthony had lens replacement at a clinic in Manchester. It's gone really well and it's really corrected his short sightedness. He has to wear reading glasses for really up close work, but I think he's really impressed with the results. He's been waiting to have it done for years. So we're now officially a one car family. It's the first time I've been without a car since I was about 17 or 18. I was quite happy with what the dealer offered me for the car and I'll just see how long I can manage with just one vehicle between us. I just dropped Anthony off at work in Oldham and drove back to see my parents and my sister and to walk the dog in the woods and to find some prints. I've got everything I need at the holiday cottage that we're staying in, apart from the prints. I've got the mounts and everything. I need to get some sent off to my customers. So we've had to put all our stuff into storage, most of our stuff that's going over to the house that we're going to live in while the boat's being built. So uh, store first have been absolutely brilliant. They've even got a little kitchen where you can help yourself to coffee and tea, which is what I did while the removals men unloaded all our stuff from the house. I'm back here because I need to find some prints. I thought they were at my mum and dad's house, but actually I think they're here. So I need to go through all the stuff and find these prints. I hope they're here so I can get them off to the customers. Doors closing. find my prints amongst all these boxes. Oh dear. Good luck. Well, I don't believe it. I've actually found them. I was just about to give up thinking I'm going to have to order some more prints. And I found all my prints in here. Marvellous. Anthony's replying to our comments on our YouTube channel.
So this is Kate, and we're on the. What's the name of your What's the name of your boat? The boat's called Grace. The cafe is called Evergreen. And how come you ended up with this boat in Lynn? We were out uh, looking at boats that we just like looking at, just you know, having a browse. So this was called Ada, and she was old, scruffy, tired, neglected. I fell in love with her. My husband said she'll be by her. Um, I was working at Saints at the time. Didn't, didn't want to stay working there forever, so I decided that we'd get the boat. Uh, we bought her last March, so March 2019. Took him till we moved here, literally finished in December as we opened. And uh, yeah, so we moved here in December. Yeah. Got locked down, unfortunately, in yeah. March. Yeah, yeah. And were you busy up until lockdown? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yes, good. yes. We, we ended up, um, instead of just having people just turn up because people were being disappointed with it being a special it's vegan so you know people were coming from miles away yeah. and not getting a table so basically we just said right well we'll go to bookings so on a saturday and a sunday um we'll have bookings and for mother's day we were literally for the whole weekend we would have been had we got there <laughs> fully booked out right brilliant yeah. what day is he open friday saturday and sunday right. at um, the moment we may, we may go to thursday yeah and your times are 11 till 4, is that right? 11 till 4, yeah, that's yeah, right. Brilliant. Yeah, all right, yeah. well, good luck with your business, and Thank I hope you. it all picks up after all this is Thank over. You. Yes, yes, so do we. Thank you very much. <laughs> so we're nearly at the end of our stay at Broomhead Farm Cottages in Lim, which is where we stayed while the house was being sold. Uh, we've just completed today, so we're really pleased about that. And I went again to look at the boat yard yesterday with Kev. I wanted to give a quick shout out to Paula and Megan. I believe you've not been well, the two of you. I hope you're feeling better soon and happy birthday, Paula. Well, we're about to set off. We've had our week at the cottage. It's been very nice. We've been very busy catching up with general jobs, but we're now off to the house that we're moving into. Dexter settled. Hi, just want to say a really big thank you to all our patrons. Um, thank you for all your support and thanks so much for all your comments. Keep them coming. I do try and reply to all of them every week. Big thank you. Yeah, and don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications and hit that like button and we'll see you next week. Bye, Bye for now. Bye.